it's like being authentically ourselves. You get what I'm saying? But with this youth, and that's why a lot of you all with your children and your grandchildren, you're giving them the same information. You're feeding them the knowledge that you've learned. You're feeding them the things that you wish that you had received. You get what I'm saying? This is feeling like the grandfather energy. Let me go get my charger real quick, y'all. I'm about to pause the video. I'll be right back. So with the scribe energy, with the scribe energy, things are usually passed down through like grimoires, things of that nature, like folklores and um, information just passed down through the lineage and it was kept safe. You get what I'm saying? Your, and this is going off of some of the message of what we were sharing earlier in the reading. It's going to go in the um, chrysalis area when this is over, but this is going into your energy with this scribe. You have knowledge of past and present and some knowledge of the future as well. Okay. So your knowledge of the past, the present, and the future, you've learned patterns. You've learned to see what has consistently happened, what's been cyclical. So you can teach that and you can prepare. Okay? You can, you can teach it. You can prepare it. You got the father energy at the bottom of the deck. Definitely a strong grandfather energy coming through in this reading right now is all masculine energy coming through okay um this is a crane i've been seeing a lot of cranes lately some of y'all may have been seeing cranes as well you've been finding feathers okay some of y'all may want to start wearing feathers in your head Ooh. don't do shit if it ain't in your culture okay let me make sure i put that don't do shit that's not in your culture just because you think it's cute okay but this is giving a vibe of connecting more to your indigenous and it's something with the crown because I'm seeing horns typically signify strength. Okay. Determination. Independence in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? This is coming out in the way of you standing on your sword and your horns. Your sword is your word, your word, your perception, your thought process your mind, what you speak, your horns are your strength, what makes you strong, what makes you you. And you have the okay from the masculine energy through your lineage and whatever it is that you follow and connect to. This was their role. Everyone had a role <coughs> in the family and in the village. You had the person who people came to for advice. You had the doulas. You had the teachers. You have the doctors. Everyone had their role. Okay. This is giving the vibe of you standing in your role. Raccoons is coming to me as well. Some of y'all may have been even dreaming about raccoons or some shit. Okay. But this is giving a vibe of felines in general. So you may have just been attracted to felines for some reason that's coming out. Um, you... Standing strong and determined in your role. What you're called to do, how you're called to do it, when you're called to do it, and not allowing yourself to yield to anyone who has a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we can yield in situations because someone else doesn't like it or they're uncomfortable, whatever the case is. But it's like, if you make them uncomfortable, that's on them to change their environment. <laughs> okay. How dare you let someone make you feel uncomfortable in your home, right? So this is giving one of those situations of don't allow anyone else to make you feel uncomfortable in your own home. And that's giving not only just in your physical home, but in like your body suit, who you are, okay? Now, I'm not in it. 
You know what I'm saying? You can figure that part out. Look, I ain't in that part. I don't even think I want to go down that route. So with this youth and those who I'm talking to with this responsibility, with their role with working with the youth. So it makes me think about, and this is something that you see in a lot of like spiritual movies and things of that, of that nature as well. You see like each department will have a training for the children. So the health workers, the children got their own learning space where they're at. So like they don't all go to the same school. They go to a school that's designated for where their spirit, where they're called to go to in this lifetime, right? It's giving that vibe. Like you having your space and those who are meant to be learning that, them being guided and directed to that space. So I'm seeing even education systems changing, um, homeschools changing, and in like you creating your own homeschool, whatever the case is, you doing service learning activities that relate to the children that are in that homeschool. You know what I'm saying? Like you have the curriculum of, oh, they got to know two plus two, but you adding your, your own cultural shit in with it. You get what I'm saying? We're not just learning with this. We learn with manipulatives of, of indigenous items that we got or what we find around in nature. You get what I'm saying? It's something about you finding a way to implement You finding a way to implement what's for you, okay? You finding a way to implement what is for you. And this is making me think of my book. I have a book series, Neo Blue and the Great Awakening. And the second book is about halfway done. And in it, there are different, um, and it talks about it in the first one. But in the second one, you go through the whole process and Similar to like with Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter have different, same thing. They they go to different, they have classes, they have different houses and things of that nature, right? There's different ways of how the soul is sorted. Now, either we choose that, we choose it or we come down and we accept that shit, okay? But what we choose to do with it affects our outcome. Some people don't want to accept that shit. That's on them to not want to accept it. That ain't got nothing to do with you, right? As long as you know what you're supposed to be doing, you need to be standing in that. And that's what this energy is giving very strongly. Like, I know what I am. I know what I'm supposed to do. This is how I'm showing up. It's giving a vibe of you are a teacher of the next, like the children, the upcoming children. Welcome to the membership pool. We got a full moon. The counselor is coming up again. Today is a full moon. We're talking about you're a teacher. The counselor just came out. It's like resting your lane. You feel me? Like. Because your lane has everything that you need. Oh, look at my tattoo symbol on here. I didn't even see that. Wow. Everything that you need is in you. And the fact that karma is on here, what goes around comes around. It's given the reincarnation. So you giving what you received or you giving what you didn't receive so you creating a new cycle you creating a new karma cycle you get what i'm saying the people who don't know they lane is people who don't know themselves and that's not anyone's fault but themselves and that's the truth we have to allow ourselves to get to a space of know who we are away from other people right and a lot of our responsibilities when we are reincarnated here is not to force someone to know who they are or to figure certain things out. You can give tools, you can share certain things, but they got to have it in them. And some people are NPCs. So it's not even our freaking responsibility to try to make sure that they got a soul or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of stuff don't move you. Right. And that's where it comes with you standing in that energy that the ancestors said to stand in. 
when you know your role and what you're called here to do, right? When you know yourself, you don't get off balance into every god dang on thing. You do what you called to do, how you called to do it, how you called to show up. Boom. And this usually comes, this is why ancestors always say hermit mode is not the answer. I made a TikTok this morning and I was saying, you know, they always say um, when you know better, you do better. That's not true. A lot of people know better and they still don't do better. You do better when you do better. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot of information out here for people to figure this shit out. So it's one of those where if you, you do better when you do better. And you have to be honest and realize some people want people to do the work for them. Do you want to be on the front line with somebody who needs someone to do everything for them? Or do you want to be on the front line with someone else who knows how to figure it out just like you? Okay, this is what the ancestors say you need to start thinking like. Okay, this is as a collective. Those who need to hear it, hear it. You have people who are actively working to be better in certain spaces, right? Those are who you give your energy to who actively doing it, not the inconsistent, not the ones who truly don't know, truly don't understand. They're going to hold you back. You have different levels of things. So, for example, you got family members always want to complain to you and get advice. And then you got clients. Your priority is your client. Okay. Because that person is willing to give of an energy and they're showing that they're serious about what the fuck they're doing. You get what I'm saying? Many give away their magic and their energy without a boundary because of time, because of a certain thing. And this is another answer I got from the um, grandfather energy this morning as well, was that you have to realize your loyalty cannot be found in everyone around you. Okay. You can't expect everyone around you to be as you. They can copycat you. But you can't expect that same loyalty to be in that way. And a lot of you all, that's something that got in your way in a past life. And you got to think about who you want to be on the front line with. And that's what equally yoked is. You got the hero in reverse. Y'all see that? The hero in reverse. You know, and a lot of times that hero, it's because of that past energy that's naturally in us, right? Of wanting to show up, wanting to be what we wish we had. But the truth of it all is to become what we wish we had to ourselves. It's not always of, oh, a butterfly, of becoming and giving it. You get what I'm saying? And that's the beauty of us all having our own rows. The beauty of us having our own rows. We got the four of air. The time is set to nine o'clock. I love geometria and just geometrics. It's like I see shapes and I just start seeing the fucking universe, bro. Um... Nine o'clock. There we go. The Savior be us the whole time. It be us the whole time. 
And then we show up authentically to help other people become their own savior. You get what I'm saying? So we teach other people how to be that by us showing up being ourselves. And it's like learning how to give your energy out. You got the queen of earth. The thing with the queen of earth, the queen of earth is very abundant. Okay. The queen of earth is very abundant. But when the emotion and the intellect is in reverse, she could be an overgiver, which is the queen of pentacles in reverse, the queen of earth in reverse. So then all that abundance is being given outside and is not having any type of internal leeway. Okay. So with you being in who I'm talking to, you're in a queen of pentacles space right now, a queen of earth space, very abundant with whatever knowledge you have, whatever you've been working on, you've been like fanning out over this shit. Okay. You're very knowledgeable within something. This is not something that it's like, Oh, you got to get better at. No, this is something that you're already good at with this abundance energy. I'm hearing, make sure you lean into that and navigate on that, how you're supposed to, okay? How you're supposed to. Sometimes it can be easy to feel like, oh, I'm not doing enough, or I don't know enough, or I'm not connected to enough, or I'm not this, or whatever the case is. But the reality is that you've always been enough. You've always had everything that you need. You've always been connected to everything. And this grandfather energy that's coming through, and we already had the father that came out earlier in the message. The grandfather is even saying, you know, a lot of people get mad at some men, but I'm gonna be honest. Like you, women can learn from men. Hate me if you want to, okay? Men don't go around giving a fuck about everything, okay? They know how to compartmentalize some shit. Women need to learn how to do that a lot of times. If you, And I'm not saying all women, when I generalize and say this, okay? It can sound very ignorant to generalize. But I'm saying from a sense of who I'm talking to, okay? Put it that way. We can move in a way of certain emotions that are being utilized. They're not coming from a balanced place. Okay. And we get upset with men of how, oh, they don't help. They don't do this. But do you be asking or do you come like, it's, and people are like, oh, well, you're a black. You can't assume. And sometimes we be caring too much. I tell women all the time, listen, if I popped it randomly with a child, that man will be a single daddy before I be a single mama. Women go in automatically. I got to be this. I got to be this. I got to do this. Even if the man trapped him. I got to do. No, the fuck you don't. Who said that? You said that. You putting extra stuff on yourself. And we can learn to not put extra stuff on ourselves and to be detached from things. And the more we tell ourselves that I can't do this or I can't whatever. No, you can't. And I'm talking to some people who were kind of like granddaddy's babies or, you know, granddaddy little girl or something of the case. But it's giving one of those like, speak up, say what you need to say. Stop feeling like you got to be responsible for everything. And this is connecting to that grandmother message from yesterday. Even if you were raised up to be in that, you know, what if you're the oldest child, oldest daughter, you didn't, you weren't allowed to have a childhood. You can still learn how to not give up and let it go start saying no it may not be easy all the time but it's worth it so just like me learning this damn piano yeah it's difficult but with discipline i'm gonna get this shit and no matter how long it takes for me to get it i'm gonna come on here one day and play that shit okay this is giving that same thing on the feminine energy feminine energy is usually always in this queen of pentacles in reverse Stop letting people, oh, oh, uh, this is, this is another thing that get me. And some people are going to be triggered when I say this, but listen, I got to be honest. Black women, we're no longer showing up to spaces anymore. Black women, this is showing us that no one cares about us. Shut the fuck up. Cause you should have been had boundaries. Okay. Get out your emotions. Stop showing that you are still moving from your lower emotions and look at this shit from another angle. You should have been had boundaries. This ain't got nothing to do with that. Okay? Be honest and real with yourself. 
take extra care. The fuck? If you've been taking care of yourself every day like you're supposed to, you wouldn't need that. Okay? So learn how to read through shit. Learn how to read through shit. Learn how to see when people just talking out their fucking neck. Learn when people just want some fucking attention. Learn when somebody is just, they, they're, it's. And this is why the ancestors said this past month to just observe. Y'all remember that in that reading where they said do more observing and less talking? I did it. And I observed a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And it shows that a lot of people still aren't willing to listen. Okay? I love my black women, but I understand a lot of black women have been conditioned to be in a certain level of masculine to where they are unbalanced between their masculine and their feminine so they operate from their lower emotional chakras because they're still clogged okay men have it too but we gonna be honest in this reading that is not just the men it's the women too and that is healing that needs to be done on both sides within self You got the five of wands. A lot of people have been at war with self. Okay. And if you keep observing, you're going to see who's at war with self. You need to be able to read through their language. Read through what they're saying. Read through what they're doing. Okay. So, you this season with this full moon energy, and I'm going to re-release this part of the reading back on the channel, I think, yeah. You this season, grandfather, give us some energy. He says, I'm watching over you. So this was a worker, you know, he was focused. He, he had his thing and he knew how to focus. I just broke my whole thing. Child, what that just said? What that mean? And then I know who did it just came out. This is giving a vibe of breaking down the whole system and starting over. To this whole thing falling right now and breaking, that's literally giving me, because y'all remember the other day I was just saying that I need another stand for all my cards. My whole, all my decks just fell. That's what just happened. And I was saying I need another container. This is giving that vibe. So in the season of where you're at right now, it's like you may be breaking down. And we did a reading recently that was talking about the tower, how we have to have towers in order to rebuild it back up. You know what I'm saying? Like how we can have towers, we can have situations that happen, but it's what we do with it. So it's like, shit, I'm just going to have to buy another damn thing. You know what I'm saying? If somebody want to donate it to the channel, send it to me on Cash App. But don't cry over having to start over. Don't cry over having to rebuild something or because something of falling apart doesn't mean that you got to fix it. Sometimes it just means that you got to just walk away from it and start over. Okay. He has, I made mistakes in my life too. So something has to be let go of. You got to let that shit fall apart. The simple things matter most. Something has to fall apart in order for it to build back up at this season. And that's what this full moon is doing. This full moon is forcing things to fall apart. Okay, allowing things to fall apart so that you can come back together. 
okay? And that come back together is making me think now with a lot of the readings that we've been doing. And I'm going to do the member reading later on, the weekly reading. But it was talking a lot about like the coming back together. And some of that coming back together wasn't with another person. It was with self. It was the coming back together with you at the core of who you are. How you show up as. What you got, you know what I'm saying, available. That's what it really was this whole time. Eight of Pentacles. It's something about your focus and getting out of your head with this Five of Swords. But it's something about negative talk. It could be negative self-talk. It could be um, doubt. You know what I'm saying? But that's why you got to build it over from the beginning. So it's something about you rebuilding your mind. King of Swords in the reverse, getting your voice back, getting your power back. Um, I'm hearing respect. I'm hearing respect. Eight of Swords. It's crows in the background. Not allowing anyone to disrespect you twice. Or not even allowing yourself to disrespect yourself. Because sometimes we disrespect ourselves by who we allow into our space to disrespect us. Over and over and over and over. Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You got to walk away from something, but you knew that. And that's that tower, but that's where this rebuilding is coming up at. With this four of pentacles and the king of pentacles, it's like you keeping something to yourself now. And that goes back to the beginning of the message. And this grandfather is also saying some things have not been revealed to you because of who you've had around you. the moon on the bottom of the deck. You got the king of cups. The king of cups is emotional intelligence. And what were we just talking about earlier? Emotional intelligence, you know, everyone that people be calling them narcissists don't really be narcissists. They just have boundaries. <laughs> they just have boundaries. They're not easily manipulated. Everyone who speaks up <laughs> is not toxic. He's not trying to fight. And some of them just know how to communicate their needs. Okay? And this is giving one of those of having true emotional intelligence. Realizing where your strengths are where your weaknesses may have been and truly merging to what really is like you don't have to do everything unless you want to do everything you're not responsible for everything so back to what we were saying earlier on how more women probably need to make their the, the fathers single fathers and they could be in their head oh i can't leave my child like that your child reincarnated on this earth for a mission Okay, 
And a lot of people be out here self-sacrificing for they, them same children that turn around and do Lord knows what to them. Okay? Be lying straight to their face every damn day, lying. Okay? Them kids don't give a fuck. Okay? They love, but they don't. I'm being honest. We gonna be honest here. Half of them. So it's like you can't decide how things are going to be by putting yourself on the back burner. Like you got to know when you got to let go of some shit. And don't let somebody try to make you feel guilty for that shit. Okay. Don't nobody make you feel guilty for that. You think the men feel guilty or feel bad when people be saying, hey, no, they don't. They don't. They don't. Yeah, the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Some of that was lies that was told. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. And it's a lot of people that be self-sacrificing everything. I'm, oh, I got to do it for my... Oh, this was going on, so I had to do this for my... No, the hell you didn't. You chose to do that. You didn't have to do it. You chose to do it. You chose to do it. You just have to give the foundation of. Thank you for the super chat pool. Look, I'm going to give me a new thing for my cards now. I'm going to order it when I get off of here. I got to dust this off anyway. So this probably about needed to happen, honey. Okay. Because I got to dust off under here. Sure, I got cards all over this flow. on that so i grew up in a very sheltered home my second half of my life and i still got into shit still got into stuff still got a found a way to sneak still found a way to still be out hunching still found a way i bet i look like the perfect kid okay <laughs> baby we got technology and stuff them kids hearing everything okay they hearing everything they seeing everything whether they hear it from you they daddy they grandma, auntie, they gonna hear it. They gonna see it. Only way they not is if you got the motherfuckers in Amish land and y'all ain't got access to nothing. Nothing. That's the only way you're gonna keep it from them. Yeah, schools. Listen. They, they gonna get it. They go, we can't shield our kids from that. And that's a myth that I feel like has been passed down only way you can keep them from it is if you keep them locked up like on a farm somewhere away from reality and if that's not how you living then baby you can't protect them from shit okay go on head over there with your toxic ass daddy you came down to earth for a reason okay and my reason was to learn how i procreate in this bitch okay <laughs> you said they escaping i'm a Y'all listen, I'm just talking. I'm talking from a very masculine standpoint right now. I need y'all to understand. I need y'all to understand I'm reading from a very masculine standpoint today. This is grandfather energy. So when I say these things, okay, I'm speaking from a very masculine place today. Like, baby, you already gonna be learning how to suck penis and do all this other stuff on TikTok. Go on over there with your gambling ass daddy, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. I'm going to have to see it. I'm going to have to see it. So it's like, I love that we want to. All we can do is give the foundation and show up authentically. But we can't force something to be a certain way. Because it's always going to be something that they're going to say that you didn't do right. Well, it's always going to be something that like, and yeah, they're going to love you in certain ways too. But we got to be honest. Some mothers do are like that from a selfish standpoint. Ambulance in the background because of how they feel is going to make them look. What do they always say? You making me look bad, right? 
how it's going to make them look. So they do things off of what it's going to make them appear as. Shit. I still remember being told when I was younger how my family got mad at my mom because she let my dad keep me. And the youngest, I think I was like, the first time she let me go like overnight, it was for Thanksgiving. I wasn't even a year old yet. And they got on her. You know, as a woman, you supposed to da 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 my dad, I ended up moving with my dad when I was 10. You get what I'm saying? And that forced him to get his shit together, actually. From the time of when I first got there, that man had hoes, okay? By the time I graduated, he didn't have hoes. That man was celibate. He had a business. He was stepping out, doing what the fuck he had to do. So sometimes mothers, y'all could be holding back on the father, getting his shit together because you keeping them damn kids from him to force him to be responsible. And I'm going to be honest, being raised by my dad was better than being raised by my mom. I'm going to be honest. And you want to know why? Most times men have stronger support systems and people don't want to admit that because they get coddled a lot of times too. So the grandmother is usually very active. Okay. The sisters being that bitch, they, like the community will come around a man. If he, he got a girlfriend that's going to show up and help. Okay. Women are expected to do it all. And that's why research shows that children do better in single father homes. It's not just because the father is on, it's because the father has typically more of a support system and they have the masculine energy there. That's why a lot of women got caught up in the crack pandemic, got caught up in drugs and shit. Because they were taking on more than what they were supposed to. Because society had them feeling like they were supposed to. And the whole time they in Queen of Pentacles reverse. Whole time. Whole time. This grandfather energy was a little, I ain't gonna lie. This was a little, you know what I'm saying? This is a little heavy. You know, is a reason why I know people be like, oh, well, the mom, da, 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 or how a, a boy child can grow up with a single mama with a dad that was absent and hate the single mama more than the daddy. Because you should have sent his ass to live with him. That's what you should have did a long time ago. That's what you should have did a long time ago. As soon as he started showing you that. Okay, <laughs> as soon as you showed that you wanted to be a man or you want to uh, take your ass. Okay. I feel that when boys reach, and this is me, I don't know, this is granddaddy speaking, y'all, because I was about to say this is me, and he said, no, this is me. 
When boys reach a certain age, they need their dad. They don't think like girls do. And women naturally coddle their sons more than their girls. Boys need tough love with the nurturing. You can't raise them to be the way you want to. We need the balance. <sighs> we can't change the system, but you can learn how to work in this bitch, this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this is giving. That's is what this is giving. Like, let me be honest with you, baby. You can keep your sacredness, but you don't have to take on everything that you take on. Y'all said it's Saturn coming in direct, baby, because something happening because the way he coming through, it's like, no, you can learn some balance from that. Girls are raised in a fairy tale mindset. You're conditioned to take on more than what you're supposed to. The man is similar to how in nature in a lot of ways. The woman gives the orders or the woman is like the woman's energy is a little bit different. When we look at most of nature, not all of nature, but most of nature. Because we don't have villages like we used to. There used to be villages where. All the women to be together and raise them together. And so in that society, that's understandable. This new society ain't like that. And even in those societies, when the boy childs got to a certain age, they weren't raised with the girls like that. Not in that manner. You got the emperor coming up in reverse in the ace of cups. And we're talking about daddies, emperor in reverse. So I don't know if it's, I don't even want to get into that. I don't. I think I already been on here for, I've been on here an hour and a half. I don't even want to get into that. Mm -mm, granddaddy, we're going to have to come back another time. 